Hi, viewers of my channel. Um, right now, funnily enough, I'm not in Cornwall. I am in Kenya. To get here, I had to take a very stressful PCR test. Dude, it's negative. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait for the results. And then I got a coach for eight hours. All the way up to London Heathrow. Off they go. And then got an equally absolutely boiling, I don't know why it was so hot, plane from Heathrow to Nairobi. Kibir, how are you feeling? Feeling great, dude. We're at the airport. In the words of Dave Chappelle, cradle of fucking civilization. <laughs> and now I am here in Naivasha. We're in Naivasha, Ella? Yes. We're in Naivasha. Okay, cool. This is the start of my two weeks of vlogging in Kenya, and I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, I don't have a better intro than that. Okay, let's go. Bye. Within 24 hours of leaving Cornwall, we had made it to Kenya. And literally within an hour of stepping off the plane and traveling to Naivasha, we saw some of the most beautiful animals we'd ever seen before. It just goes to show how rich Kenya is in its wildlife. After we arrived in camp, we put up our tent. And I'm not gonna lie, it took us 45 minutes to put up a tent. There was six of us. It was absolutely ridiculous. It should not have taken us that long. We are about to do our first event of the entire trip. Uh, since we got here this morning, we've had nothing to do except just relax and avoid the worst of the heat. Oh, around to do in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing to do here. Um, but now we're gonna get a boat tour around the lake and I will show you some of the amazing species that I find there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I just, oh my. They're like perfect. Wow. Yeah, Pied Kingfisher ahead. On the, yeah, on the cross. Hello there, good morning to the world. Today is the 3rd of March and I've been in Kenya for a whole day. So this is my second day now. I'm already off to a pretty bad start because uh, Kenya is pretty high up in terms of altitude. So I'm about 2000 meters right now. So I've already been sick, but I think I'm pushing through it. And yeah, thank you for the moral support, Ella. You can do it. Yeah, I think you're in the shot. I can't see through my sunglasses. We're about to go on a on a game drive and hopefully see some of the really big animals, but also lots of birds. And um, yeah, so let's go do that. Yeah, so these, all this video, you know, so you've got commentary. Yeah. The largest? We see the largest and the smaller. Yeah. Is it just one? Yeah. No, it's just a big Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at those boys. Yeah. Loads of giraffe foraging on low, low-lying vegetation, which is why they're all hunched over. Yeah, or is 
this, by the way. Let's get to roll. That was my first attempt. Hey, buddy. Just there. Like he's foraging for ants or termites. It's Kenyan tea time. Let's see what kind of tea it is. Ooh, um. Yeah, so they were. Kenyan tea just tastes like normal tea. That is my statement of the day. This is how it starts. So basically, I'm in Kenya right now, and unfortunately, what's happened is my arms have grown three inches in length. Um, it's the heat, it's caused the degenerative bone disease. <laughs> Look. Just look at this. I can't even. It's just so long. Oh, there's a there's a bird looking at our tent. Yeah. Uh, back to the actual story. I am filming here because our tent is too hot to stand in in the middle of the day. We just had this incredible lunch, which was like roti and some beans and samosas and mango. And we've got a couple of hours to wait, and then we're going to Hell's Gate. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to Hell's Gate to um, assess some of the behavioural stuff that we find. <laughs> Yeah. And then also, we're possibly going to set up some camera traps, so I'm really excited for that. But look at my long arms. <laughs> Yeah, so for our first behavioural study, we're just having a look at some of these harder beasts and recording some behaviours down, which is pretty cool. We're looking at licking at the flank behaviour. Um, so I'm just taking down all the times the behaviours occur at. Um, sadly, Kabir only has two two observations. <laughs> Poor Kabir. It's now about nine o'clock at night. Um, I'm in one of the bandas. Today's been absolutely insane, like non-stop, seeing so many different species of mammals and birds and just everything. I've still not completely recovered from the altitude sickness. I still feel quite lightheaded and sick, but tomorrow is also just incredibly full of events. So I'm gonna see you in the morning because I need like as much sleep as I can get. Good morning. Um, it's day three in Kenya. This is the first day I've woken up and not felt sick, which is a vast improvement on the last two days. We're gonna go to Hell's Valley, which we were at last night, but we're gonna do a walkthrough. Um, I'm not sure if it's for research purposes. I think it's mainly to see some of the animals there and decide what we want to study in particular. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we're gonna head on. Everyone's um, taking photos of the secretary bird because it's just so iconic and beautiful. We are leaving Hell's Gate now. We spent the morning just walking around and looking at various projects that we could do so far. I really like the village sparrow weavers, I believe they're called, but we're going to head off, I believe, to Nakuru to spend the night there. And we're gonna look at some other projects tomorrow morning. So for the past couple of nights, we've been staying in this tent and sort of just hung my mozzie net off here. But we're going to Nakuru quite soon, so we need to pack all our stuff up. Basically, we need to move, but the tent is getting hotter by the second, so it's kind of a race against time. And so, it was on to our second location in Kenya, Nakuru. A 
Upon entering the park, one of the most amazing things that we saw were the rhinos. There are both black and white rhinos, and being able to see both of these species in one space is something incredible. Very pregos. Beautiful little sleeping lion. He's having a nap. Um, a lot of flamingos. <laughs> Bastards, aren't they? They're very oh. oh yeah, gorgeous, but look at its head, it looks like it wants to murder me. Oh beautiful hyena. This is definitely a, a spotted. Yeah, this is definitely a spotted. Because the stripes are shaggy. This is gonna be our lodging for the night, I guess. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, wait, we're not doing pops. Later that night, we were checking our camera trap that we'd put up in Naivasha, and we saw something pretty amazing. Is that, Is that a hyena? Oh my goodness, a spotted hyena, first video. And then we just went to have a look outside in our current camp in Nakuru, and there were hyenas right outside our gate. Good morning, little rhinos. Is that a calf with the mother? Yeah, that'll be a, a calf that's getting close to kind of independence. Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, no, it's oh, coming across the road. It's coming across the road. Oh, it's coming straight across the road. Is it? Yeah, it's on the road. It's on the road. Yeah, it's on the road. Yeah, yeah. It's a serval, definitely. Oh my goodness. I'm a fucking genius. Spot the lion. Yeah, yeah. There she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just back into camp and there's already another species of stork um, just there. It's called an open bill stork. That'd be maybe the fourth kind of stork we've seen. Yeah, a little gap in the beak. Yeah, that was what would make it an open bill. Breakfast here is so good. Like breakfast is so tasty. So ex oh, chips, man. Vlogging. I can blow your face out if you want. Actually, no, I'm going to put Sasha's face over yours. So you're not going to be in this video at all. So I'm going to do a dramatic reading of a haiku that I made on the trip this morning. <sighs> Beak like a sharp blade. All creatures cower in fear. Neck like a ball sack. What am I? That's it. From <laughs> Thomas. Yeah, we're back at camp, and this is. Oh! This is Thomas. Um, he's buzzing around somewhere. He he's a little carpenter bee. He lives in outside Fres Banda. And then there's another little bee, oh, he's, he's... which um, you can see his head poking out. What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. That's Jeffrey. <laughs> 
Thomas and Jeffrey would like to let you know that I'm about to start a campus tour. This is the banda that Freya's staying in and we're leaving our stuff here because the inside of our tent, which is just there, is like a thousand degrees and we don't want to go inside. If we go this way, it is where we eat our lunch. There are so many fucking obstacles. There's like fucking acacias with big spikes. Um, this is what we've uh, named the master suite just because it's got all the kit in it. <laughs> so usually all of the kit is left here and then that's a toilet um, which we can also use. Um, and in case you didn't know, the bandas are sort of these hut things um, that are where a lot of the people are sleeping. I'm staying in a tent because there's slightly less bugs in there because you can zip it up and they can't get through the hole. This is our main eating area. We've got some water to wash our hands with, clean water. Over there is where the lecturers are staying and we get our food served here. And if you kind of look this way, you can see the lake, um, Lake Naivasha all the beautiful mountains behind us. I believe that Nakuru, where we were this morning, was over that way. This is uh, Nick and Kabir's Vanda. Good morning, fellas. I mean, good evening. Good afternoon. What bug have you found? Beetle. A beetle? Dung beetle? Is it alive? Yeah, it's, it's crawling behind me. Little dung beetle. Right Red bull five inches here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, look. Oh, wow. Right, that's the end of the camp tour. I'm gonna go look for some five inches. This is kind of a shower setup. And this is the toilet. Yeah, I feel your It's so loud. Um, we've just spent the latter half of, of the day deciding what project we wanted to do. And so I wanted to do some butterflies, but then you can test the same sort of foraging stuff with sunbirds, which are these really beautiful, almost like hummingbird type birds. So me and Bailey are going to study hummingbirds and their foraging for the next five days. Uh, we still need to come up with our hypothesis, but hopefully that shouldn't be too hard. This is um, Ugali, or Fufu. It's the first time I've had it and it is very good. It's the 6th of March now, so it's going to be the 4th day that I've been in Kenya. In Bailey, I've just spent, you know, since 6 o'clock until now, which is about 11, trying to come up with a method. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell that I'm fucking exhausted. Come up with a method of seeing what we want to investigate, what we want to measure, all of these different variables, and it's very tricky, and there's a good chance we could be wrong, because sometimes you don't see these things until you get told by a lecturer that they're wrong. <laughs> so I'm just making my way through a bag of squashies. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so good. We've got um, avocado salad with yeah, like red cabbage. Up, and then this is like a, a lentil bolognese. And there's rice and vegetables and spaghetti. And every night the food has been like this. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's a big fat fucking huntsman spider that's just hiding below my sliders and I wasn't aware it's there and I was just gonna oh my god it moves it's moving it's moving I think he's just twitching but yeah I don't like him and I want him to leave hi um the whole of yesterday we woke up at about quarter to six and we were working pretty much up until eight o'clock planning out our project so we're going to be doing something um, to do with patches of plant and sort of how the birds optimize their foraging on these patches. That's what we're going to be doing today and tomorrow and probably the day after. Uh, so if I don't film anything, it's because I'm hella busy. It's rehydration nation time. I put a rehydration tablet in my water because someone got sunstroke yesterday and we kind of don't want to repeat that situation considering I've been in the sun for about five hours. But we're nearly done with our first set of data collection. We've not got much luck with how many birds we've observed, but there's quite a lot of sunbirds around here, so they're really really beautiful that oh my god that temperature is insane the temperature has been reading some insane stuff like we, we basically went so high that it didn't measure anymore it went over 60 degrees celsius so i'm gonna put it in the tent because we can't go in because it's too hot in the middle of the day and i'm gonna see what happens to the temperature so this is the temperature probe it says inside this tent it's 45.1 degrees Celsius, um, which is why we don't come in here in the middle of the day. But there is mosquito. Uh, 
We eat the mosquito with the beat. We're gonna go and have dinner now, and then we have to do a quick presentation that's gonna be really chill and just informal. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's gonna be chill. It's gonna be so chill. I'm not going to be chill. It will go well because we know our stuff. Manifest good we're, vibes. We are manifesting the good vibes. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Goodbye. I'm just going down to collect the SD cards for the camera trap. Flu has seen some stuff. We know we've had porcupines, hyena, people have seen mongoose around, uh, dick dicks, which are small deer. So these are all things we could see in the trap. For me, this has been one of the most interesting parts of the course. It's just not assessed because I've never got to use a camera trap before. And it's so, I don't know, it's just so exciting because I have literally no idea what's going to be there. Like the, the first night we set it up, obviously there was a hyena. About 200 meters that way is where we're staying. So it's very close to camp. Um, if there's anything interesting, I'll record it and put it on afterwards. Like this video then make sure to like and subscribe for part two there's gonna be elephants in it literally designed t-shirt like this is my drawing of all of the animals that we studied in Kenya which is so awesome um, I don't know I just wanted to add that in but make sure you stay tuned for part two okay bye